Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Hey guys, what's up? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know why I'm just like really feeling the ponytail look today. And I'm also feeling my shoe wall. But I'm always feeling my shoe wall. So, that's nothing out of the ordinary. So, you guys know I love shoes. Basically, the entire internet knows this. It is not a secret, literally at all. Even my Twitter header is about shoes. That comment made me laugh for so long. I need someone who talks about me like I talk about my shoes too. But honestly, who even needs a boyfriend when you have these beauties? Oh, stunning. You're beautiful, babe. Okay, this is getting a little weird. Um, so, back to the video. Yes. <laughs> you guys are always asking me my tips for walking in heels because yes, I do actually wear all of these and yes, I do actually wear heels pretty much every day. Why not? Life's short. So today I'm gonna tell you guys my secrets and tricks and tips to walking in high heels like a pro. So from a true shoe ho to the world, here are the best kept secrets. <laughs> kids we're gonna start out with a little bit of shoe 101 picking your heel is super important so here's the quick one minute master class this one's not rocket science taller heels are way less comfortable than shorter heels so look at heel height it's important when it comes to shoes size matters the thicker the heel the easier it's gonna be to walk in versus a stiletto which is going to be a lot more difficult to balance in the next thing you're gonna to wanna to look for is the arch of the heel the closer to a 90 degree angle the shoe arch is the more uncomfortable it's going to be Major key alert! Pay attention to the shape of the shoe. A rounded toe shoe is going to be much more easy to walk in versus a pointed toe shoe, obviously because it is the shape of your foot. Nobody's foot is shaped like a triangle. Even though I wish mine was because, my god, these are beautiful! Next lesson, platform heels versus non-platform heels. I actually hate platform heels and I'm borrowing my roommates. Shh, don't tell her, but anyways. Sort of hard to explain what I'm trying to say here, but basically, this one is going to be actually a little more stable than this one, just because the platform kind of negates the size of the heel in a way because it raises your toes a little bit closer to your heel versus this one where your toes are gonna be way down here and your heel is gonna be way up here. So there you go. That's a quick note on platform versus non. Another good rule of thumb, the thicker the strap, the easier it's gonna to be to walk in. For example, these are going to be much more comfortable versus this pair, because as you can see, this has a lot more support with the thickness of the strap versus this one, which has skinny, itty bitty little straps. Bada bing, bada boom. These look great together. Couple goals. Anyways, <laughs> okay. All right, so as for beginner high heel tips, the best ones that I've got are to start small. Up for a shorter heel, up for a chunkier heel, one of the more comfortable kind is going to be your best bet. Like you really don't want some crazy contraption like this uh, to be your first heel. Though this is one of my favorite pairs of heels, oh my god. <gasps> wow. Think of yourself as kind of like a little new baby giraffe who's never learned to walk. You kind of have to reteach yourself all over again. That being said, don't completely throw all your training out the window. You guys, you know how to walk for years. Go ahead, do the same thing. Heel to toe, heel to toe, that's all you gotta do. And remember, small baby steps is the best way to go. When it comes to stairs, only put the ball of your feet on the stairs. Boop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. And make sure you hold on to the railing. You know, just in case. <laughs> Next tip, improve your posture. You're a queen, you're a goddess. Hold your chin up high and chest out, shoulders back. Ah, oh, yes. Now you can slay those heels all while standing up like the queen you are. Don't forget, ladies and gents, the world is your catwalk. Walk like it. Pretend like you're walking in an invisible line. It's your invisible catwalk, a straight line to wherever it is you wanna go. One foot in front of the other. One, two, one, two. There you go, you got it, girl. Just like anything in life, confidence is key. <laughs> there are so many different kinds of heels out there and it's important to learn which ones are the most comfortable for which event. If you know you're going to a fancy dinner where you're gonna be sitting down the whole time, go ahead, pull out the stilettos. Wear the super uncomfortable heels that are purely there for the aesthetic. If you know you're gonna be walking around a lot or are going on a Tinder date with someone you've never met before and are gonna to wanna to be able to stand up even after a few cocktails, you might wanna opt for those boots made for walking. Ha ha ha, I love a good pun. The best tip of all, practice makes perfect. So practice walking around, prance up and down your hallway, go outside, walk in the streets, do whatever you want. One of my favorite things to do is vacuum while I wear shoes. It's not only a good calf workout, but also your floors get clean and your roommates are happy. Don't forget, you're a princess, you're a queen, you're Cinderella. Make sure the shoe fits. Nothing is worse than a shoe that's too small. Even going a size up is better than a size that's too small. So make sure you go ahead and get a shoe that fits properly. Your feet will thank you later. Don't be afraid to try and wear them around your house before a big event, like if you're going to be meeting Prince Charming at the ball. Try wearing the silver slippers before you go out. Your feet will thank you. 
take off this crown. Okay, so one of the biggest things when it comes to shoes is don't forget, you're not only gonna be walking in them, but you're going to be standing in them. So make sure you practice how to stand. Alrighty, so this is something that you ladies might know as pretty feet. Instead of just standing like this or like this or however you guys want to stand, you're going to put one foot in the, between the other one like this in the ball of the foot like that, and you can kind of rest most of your pressure on this foot, thus giving this foot a break. By putting pressure on one foot at a time, it kind of gives your other foot a chance to rest and then broop, go ahead, you can switch them. Alternating your balance between the two shoes all night is going to totally extend the wear of your shoes comfort. Take a break, sit down, you deserve a break. The best way to make your heels a little more comfortable is to sit. The more you sit now, the easier it is to walk later. Tip number whatever we're on, cushions and insoles are your best friend. You can literally pick these up anywhere. All you gotta do is go ahead, slip them into your shoe like so. Bada bing, bada boom. So it'll just kind of go in your shoe like that and then it gives you a nice cushy gel insole versus the regular rock hard shoe much more comfortable and extends your wear for hours at a time. People always ask if I'm related to Dr. Scholl's <sighs> sigh. No, unfortunately I'm not though. That would be pretty cool to be related to a shoe company. Ho ho ho! Just imagine all the shoes that I would have. Those are all of my little tips and tricks to walking in high heels. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because, wow, shoe videos are my favorite thing to film, especially when I get to go out and about and like kind of pretend like I'm shopping like I just did. Woo! Almost gets me as flustered as a new pair of shoes. So, <laughs> anyways, I love you guys so very much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for lots more fun. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, all my socials are at Amber Scholl, so hit me up on there. I'm always posting pictures of my shoes. I should really brush my hair because it looks crazy. Um, and as always, I'm all over the place. So uh, focusing back on the outro. I love you guys. I will see you super soon. Kisses till next time, my sweet angels. XO. P.S. LA Babes. I know I've been saying I'm going to do a meetup for a while and I just haven't planned anything because honestly I'm bad at planning things. So, um, surprise! This Sunday I will be at the Grove um, right by the fountains from 6 to 7. It's literally not an official meetup or anything. Um, I mean, I guess it is because I'm meeting up with you guys, but there's like nothing planned. Like it's literally just going to be me um, sitting there. So, if you want to come say hi and take a selfie and chit chat for a little bit, I would love to meet you guys. So, come say hi um, 6 to 7 this Sunday at the Grove. And if you can't make this one, don't worry, there's going to be another more official meetup uh, April 8th at Dave's Clothing up in the OC. So um, you can stay tuned. I'll like post more about it on Insta and Snapchat and whatnot. So I will see you guys soon. I love ya. All right, now I gotta go clean my room because ugh, shoe explosion. At least that's the best kind of explosion. <laughs>